one of the world's most important bird flight paths runs above the Middle East. The migratory birds remind us that we must think in global dimensions, especially in regard to the environment and conservation. Environmental protection and nature conservation promotes peace and connects people across borders. I am particularly pleased that our two countries are cooperating for better climate protection and biodiversity. Germany and Israel have common interests in environmental protection and conservation. The Earth's temperature has been steadily rising for decades. How does global warming affect bird life? Are the effects of global warming on bird migration around the world already evident? Studies currently being carried out in various countries are striving to collect conclusive evidence concerning the effects of climate change on the world's bird population. This includes rising sea levels and flooded breeding ground, swaths of land drying up, changes in the composition of ocean life, in migration times and routes, and in food availability along these routes. A higher than usual surface water temperature was recorded in the Gulf of Maine in 2012. The effects of this change were quick to come. Climate change is affecting puffins and their forage fish supplies in the Gulf of Maine. It's a subtle process. As the ocean warms, it's less productive. And as increasing precipitation dilutes the oceans, it's also less productive for Atlantic herring and for white hake, their two principal forage fish, which are moving to deeper water and further north as the oceans warm. The higher temperature resulted in a shortage of sufficiently small fingerlings on which puffin chicks feed. In previous years, 77% of the chicks safely left their nests. In 2012, in the Gulf of Maine's largest puffin colony, the chick's survivability plummeted to 31 percent, and the 2013 nesting season was even worse, at only 10 percent. Extensive human intervention during the 2014 nesting season saved and strengthened the puffin population by relocating nests from flood risk areas to safer nesting islands, and by supplementing fish species with fish of every size. At the end of 2014, chief scientist for the National Audubon Society, Gary Langham, published the results of 40 years of research. According to Langham, as a result of habitats drying up in North America, by the middle of this century, half of the bird species will be forced to migrate from their natural breeding grounds, and their populations will decrease radically. Many species will face extinction, while others will compete with resident species for habitats that are foreign to them. This will result in a decrease of approximately 50% in the number of birds in North America. The migratory birds uh, are unique in that they are an important component of ecosystems, but they are a seasonal component. The seasonal schedule of one species of a migratory bird is affecting more than one ecosystem. At least three. The ecosystem in which it breeds, the ecosystem in which it winters, and at least one, usually two ecosystems, where it stops over during its uh, migratory route. It is very important to understand better the function of migratory birds in uh, ecosystems and their functions, even their ecosystem services, as they may change due to the change in the schedule of the migratory birds through climate change. And therefore it is also interesting to uh, meticulously monitor the effect of climate change on migratory birds 
And this will enable us to see the, the whole picture of the effect of climate change on ecosystems and their functions. Is it possible that global warming affected body size of animals, particularly birds? And many animals, including uh, mammals, birds, reptiles, and so forth, have changed their body size during the last decades. It is not very clear if it is due to direct effect of global warming or something else. It is very difficult to say what is the main factor which makes them to change their body size. The scope of climate change effects on migration is not yet clear, but initial observations and studies are already indicating changes in migration routes and destinations. Some species are forced to extend their migration range to distant breeding grounds, while others are finding it difficult to find stopover sites along their migration routes to feed, rest and refuel. I'm Leo Swartz from the Netherlands. I spent each year seven months in Africa, in the Sahel, the dusty world just south of the Sahara, where many hundred millions of birds breeding in Europe and in Asia spent the northern winter. The reason to go there is to answer a question, and the question is why are so many of these birds wintering there are in decline. Today, most researchers agree that human intervention is needed to help bird populations in their breeding grounds and stopover sites along migration routes and in wintering grounds. First of all, we know very little about the effect of climate change on bird migration. It's critical to fund research that will uh, give us more tools to recommend what to do in the future. Nevertheless, we know that keeping the ecological corridors, free areas that will conserve and preserve the arrival and feeding of the birds that come in through this region, will definitely secure their capabilities of keep on flying. If they are not able to keep on flying, they will probably get extinct. Every autumn, five billion birds leave their breeding grounds in the Palearctic ecozone and make their way to Africa. 500 million of them cross Israel's narrow airspace. Here, in the diverse habitats, open areas and nature reserves, they rest and refuel before continuing their journey. In the spring, most of them take the same route on their way back north. Studies are likely to take many more years, but preservation of the stopover sites along the migration routes must become a global priority today. A concerted global effort to conserve feeding grounds and stopover sites along Israel's coast, in the fields and open spaces, will support the migrating birds and provide the time necessary to carry out long-term studies.